everyone. This is Steve Wadrup with Collider, and I am here with everyone behind Judy and Punch. Uh, before we get started, I just want to give a huge thank you to Kia. Kia Telluride, they're our sponsor. It's the only reason we get to be here. Sundance is what we call expensive, and I just want to give thank <laughs> Kia a huge thank you for being an awesome sponsor. Now, let's jump into why I get to talk to you guys. Uh, you guys premiered last night. What the hell was that like, uh, premiering your movie at Sundance? It was exciting and terrifying and great and, you know, I, yeah, I don't know. I had fun. Yeah, fun? it was awesome to watch the movie with an audience because it's such a bizarre tone of comedy and tragedy and so to see them laughing and gasping and all everything in between was really exciting. Yeah, none of us had seen the film uh, outside of small, you know, theaterettes with a few people. So to see it with hundreds of people uh, in a full theater was pretty, yeah, pretty exciting. You you basically live at Sundance every year, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so you, here. you have a you have yeah. a track record yeah. of Sundance. Do you have a secret apartment on Main Street <laughs> where you just come in, they're like, oh, she's back. There's actually a tunnel just from <laughs> Sundance to Australia. Um, no, I, no, I've, yeah, it's really fun. I think it's my fourth year and I've, it's been great. Every year it's different and and, um, yeah, I, I have a lot of fun here. Well, I was going to say that it is uh, uh, it, what's it been like for you the last few years, though? And I don't mean to pinpoint, but like you've you've been in some very interesting and cool and unique projects. And I'm just curious what the journey's been like. Yeah, it's been great. Um, I always want to do something different. And I've been so lucky to be able to have all these different experiences. And um, yeah, I mean, we have such a weird life in movies and you never know, you never know what you're going to do next. And But it's it's always really fun and, and different and exciting, so it's been great. Uh, most people watching this interview will not have seen the film yet, so how have you been describing it to, like, friends and family? I struggle describing it. <laughs> I literally I should really be working on my pitch. I don't have one, but I think, it, I think that maybe is a good thing. I think the, the movie's really peculiar. It's weird. It's, it's absurd. It's totally kind of unusual. Um, so it, it's, I guess like our go-to is like sprawling dark fairy tale fable, 17th century fable about puppeteers. But that doesn't give you much, does it? It's, <laughs> yeah. it's a pretty good start. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I, I think for me, uh, I love stuff like this where it is not what you see before, where it's a unique tone, it's a unique film, and it stands out. Um, talk a little bit about uh, the genesis of the project and what brought you, how this all come about. Yeah, well, I'm glad you you, you say that because basically we set out to do that, to make something that felt, you know, entirely unique and not like anything else. But uh, it came about, I had a, um, um, I knew some of the guys at, da at Vice, Eddie Moretti and Daddy Goodbye through my short short films that I'd made and they um, they called me in one day and said are you interested in in uh, we've got this idea to kind of make a live action um, Punch and Judy film and are you, are you interested to kind of have a have a crack at that and and it was very sort of loose and they encouraged me to kind of take take the genesis of that idea and sort of go nuts with it and so that that was how it all began and then it kind of you know from there it was a few years of de development and you know a few bad drafts until we got somewhere <laughs> well I'm, I'm curious in the in the writing process um how much in the writing process are you thinking about the the rating and what you'll be able to accomplish with the budget you have and how much is it sort of like i'm putting the best idea down on the paper and then let's figure out how the f we're going to put this how we're going to make this well yeah it's interesting you say that because I, I i wasn't sure if they wanted me to direct or not and i, I actually thought that chances are they, they they don't they're asking me to write it and someone else to direct it and uh danny and eddie really encouraged me to go wild and and in the beginning we we're talking about you know a sort of uh a smaller maybe two million dollar film or whatever um and i kind of kept calling them and saying guys there's mm, some big ideas in here there's some kind of big set pieces and stuff and they're like just go for it go for it and i'm like okay it's someone else's problem <laughs> and i um, just went for it um thinking that that um someone else would have to deal with have it, having to figure out how to actually make it, but it turned out I had to deal with that. So, yeah. <laughs> um, for, for the two of you, talk a little bit about um, when you get sent a script like this, how much are you being told about what this film is about and, and how much is it sort of like your agent or manager saying, just read this? Well, I, I guess we might have had slightly different experiences with this. I mean, uh, um, for me, it was uh, Mira and I have known each other for many years, and um, I knew Mira had written this and it was going to be made, and it's I, I kind of knew the rough premise, and I I, uh, I guess I was secretly hoping there might be something in there that I could audition for, and um, yeah, one day. Uh, I think I don't know if you sent it to me or I don't know how I got it but anyway um, I, I read the script um, and uh, was blown away genuinely one of the best
best scripts I've ever read. It's just a complete page turner, which is a rare. And um, and then uh, found out that Mira wanted me to audition for Punch, which I absolutely assumed was because it's not uncommon sometimes to audition for a bigger role in order to cast smaller roles. And I just absolutely assumed, oh, well, she's going to get a bunch of people to audition for Punch. Uh, obviously, that's going to go to someone famous. <laughs> and um, and then, you know, maybe I'll have a shot at one of the other roles. And, uh, yeah, so when, when, <laughs> when, when Mira actually called me to say that she wanted me to play that role, I was, um, yeah, that was one of the, uh, definitely the highlights of my career for sure. Yeah, I'm, I... I think this group came to me through a, f a mutual friend of ours and um, all I knew about it at the start was that it was a Punch and Judy kind of origin tale or something like that and um, yeah I just thought it was brilliant and so funny and unique and um, uh, yeah had a really unusual tone of being incredibly funny and really tragic at the same time and I thought if we could pull that off it'd be brilliant. Uh, before filming begins you're obviously looking at the script and what you have to accomplish. Uh, for each of you, what was the thing that you either were most excited to film or scared shitless? I think we were all a bit scared of the baby. We had a lot of scenes with a baby yeah, and that was the pretty nerve-wracking. I was scared shitless about everything, to be <laughs> honest. It was really challenging. It was like there wasn't a day in our schedule that felt like, okay, cool, we're a couple of people in a room and this is, this, you know, everything felt hard. And yeah. it was partly because it was my first movie and I was learning and, but it, I, I don't know what it felt like for you guys, but yeah, it I mean, felt like a really tough shoot yeah, for like me. Babies and dogs and puppets and theaters and mm. yeah it was it wasn't you didn't like make it easy for yourself <laughs> in any way so it was it was but it, it was exciting and um yeah i mean it it all went really well in the end but it was pretty it was a tough shoot i mean it, everyone had to work hard the weather was crap it, like it was tough shoot but i kind of had this theory that the unfun shoots tend to tend to turn out well in the end and right. the ones where you're like whoa this is so great we're all having a great time kind of i don't know do you do right. you have any experience yeah no, no i know i know i mean the films that i've yeah. done where i've been like this is so fun this is awesome what a great schedule i've not been so good in the, right, <laughs> in the end. Right. So, something about the suffering that i don't know hopefully breeds <laughs> something good sure maybe yeah, I guess for me it was just the weight of the responsibility. Uh, I mean, you know, continuing on from the surprise I had from even getting to do this role, I, I then was, yes, just to have had the daily weight of do not stuff this up. Do not, you know, this is such an incredible role in such an amazing film, and uh, uh, yeah, just just um, using the uh, the fear. <laughs> to uh, to keep you on your toes, basically. I'm, I'm very curious. I believe you play someone who drinks in the film. I do. Right. So do. what is the secret to playing a good drunk? Get drunk. <laughs> um, is uh, uh, <laughs> just keep a little less. I, uh, I got to tell you, there are, I, obviously, I'm sure people, some people know this, but there are some actors who really do drink to make it as authentic for them. And then there's others that are just acting and they're, you know, they're drinking whatever. I did that once in a, as an actor in a, in a film. I did that once for one small scene. I will never do it again. It was the biggest mistake I ever made. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Have you ever done that? Um, I have done it. I have yeah. done it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's, uh, look, I don't know. Yeah, but drunk, drunk acting is one of those uh, tricky things that you could get it so horribly wrong. Um, but yeah, I have definitely been drunk enough in my life to uh, have some recall of what that uh, feels and looks like. So, you know. Have, have you ever, have you had to be drunk on camera? I I think so, but I am i don't think I've had any super drunk scenes, but no, I haven't, no, I haven't ever. It's really hard. It's something about like you, you've got to do something with your internal balance, right? Like yeah, you kind of, what is it? You like your are. eyes have to stay in one place, but your body has to leave. Like, yeah. Right. Uh, yes. That constantly like slight, slight swaying. Yeah. Like you're a slight, you know, a tree in the breeze. But there's <laughs> Anything nothing. could topple yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's nothing worse than overplayed drunk acting. Well, see, my, my question is, have you ever, do you look at other people's performances or is it one of these things where you actually drink, film yourself in the mirror? doing stuff and then try to like mimic that. Do you know what I, I mean? I haven't done that. I've That's not a bad idea. No, no, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just, I'm yeah. just because, I've, because it's, it's really, I mean, it's really challenging. It's a, it's a yeah. real hard thing to make it authentically look like you're actually wasted. I think it's one of the hardest things. Oh, I, th I think like spinning things. around is really good. Oh, yeah, Someone right. was telling me that once. Like if you just spin yourself right. around, oh, that it really throws that you would be off. Just fun just after like twenty takes yeah. and yeah. seven yeah. ten setups, wouldn't it? You, you could legitimately throw up. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Dan Wiley and Chopper, yeah. who yeah. legitimately threw up in the in the. Have you seen Chopper? I yeah. Well, it's been many years though. It's actor Dan. One of Damon's 
very good friends. He is. And he can throw up on command, right? He can. I yeah. don't know how he did that. That's mm. crazy. Yes, down the throat no, anything. no, just he can just spew. Nope. And he did. Nope. I'm out. <laughs> nope. Uh, I'm always curious about the editing room because that's the final rewrite. I'm curious uh, what you learned in the edit and maybe what early screenings or any, you know, friends and family screenings, uh, how that impacted the finished film. Mm, um, our edit was good. It was it, we had we had a good amount of time. We had seventeen weeks, which is very healthy for an Australian sort of small Australian film. Um, and it was tough. I mean, it was it was. I sort of thought, oh, I'll get to the edit, and then, and then the fun bit will start, and, blah, blah, blah. and then <laughs> the fun bit didn't start for a really long time. Um, and the first, you know, the first. I would say two thirds of the edit were really, really tough. Just trying to find the tone. It was so much about trying to find tone. Um, once we started to to narrow in on how the score would sit, um, it it helped a lot. Um, music kind of helped. There's a lot of music in the film, and that that um, that began to make it all a lot clearer. We did um, we did a couple of tiny pickups, just very, very small, which at the time I just really didn't want to do. But I'm I'm grateful and glad that I did. Like really tiny tiny little things that help to elevate things but um yeah you know we'd we'd screen it every couple of weeks my editor and I did very small kind of groups of people um friends and family other filmmakers other editors um and um and they're always good I, I guess it's that thing um you just keep working keep screening until the notes get less and less or get more you know concise and then you kind of start to know that you you're getting there but um it was a process it was a it yeah was no tough, yeah. I, I think a lot of people don't realize uh the challenge of putting together a movie in the editing room Mm. It's, I mean, it's everything, mm. you know? Yeah. Um, on that note, I have a million other questions, but um, you, I have to go to your next interview, and I am just going to say uh, congrats on being part of Sundance. Uh, I'm super happy for all of you, and uh, uh, thank you so much for coming in our studio. Thanks, Thanks for having so us. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.